Welcome back guys. In this video we are going to actually build our floors and add them to the actor. So let's begin. Uh, and very important thing that we need to do that I did not do in the video. I did this off camera. Uh, make sure you open up your buildable materials and just like with the um, color materials we need to set that these um, mesh materials uh, are allowed to be used in instances otherwise the materials will uh, meshes will have no materials once we add these to our buildable so the next thing what I will do is I will create a new actor so I'm gonna go to the blueprint classes and add a static mesh actor um, I will use the static mesh actor because this is replicating very nicely and very easily uh, and the regular actor needs to have a lot of work done in order to make it replicatable. So I will use the static mesh actor and I will call this build preview. And inside of this actor I'm gonna go to the event graph and I'm gonna add a custom event. Custom event and I'm gonna call this add instances and I will add two inputs. The first input is going to be the build um, build mesh and we need a static mesh for this and the other one is going to be the transforms for our instances and this needs to be a transform type and this needs to be an RI. The next thing what I will do is well actually the first thing in this event is add instanced static mesh component then I'm gonna right click to the transform I'm gonna split this and leave these at zero to be relatively at zero for our um, actor and the next thing what I will do is from this return value we are going to set static mesh for our instance and the static mesh is gonna come from the input like so and then I'm gonna do a loop from our transforms loop for each and then on the loop body on each one of these we are going to add a instance to the world space and the transform comes from the RI element so as simple as that compile and save this. Now once this is done we can go to our third person character and let's see so now on the B key pressed on the bottom one after the start construction system we're going to check if is valid right now we don't have an input so what we will do is if this is not valid we are going to spawn actor from class and the class is our newly created build preview of actor then we are going to um, promote to a variable and I'm gonna call this build preview of actor and then now we can add this actor to the input object so we are checking if this actor is uh, valid, is this created, and if this is already created, we don't need to create this anymore. But if it's not created, then we are going to create this. And I'm going to split the spawn transform on this one, and I'm going to change the location to be the same location as we have for this um, place where we are um, building the preview and I'm gonna use these coordinates to make sure that this actor is in the middle of this um, basically this this cube so let's type in in my case this is minus 500 minus 25,000 and 150 there we go compile and save this now we should go to the left mouse button and so here we have we are checking if the construction mode is on and then we are checking how have we placed the first instance and if we have placed the first instance then I'm gonna add a function which is gonna be called add instances and this function will be ran from over here now in this function here we are going to drag in our build instance 
we are going to get the instance count and now we can run a flow control loop flow control loop and the count goes in the final index last index then from the loop body we actually need a local variable so add a local variable and I'm gonna call this transforms which is a array of transforms then what we can do is drag this in and we can add an entry to our array like so and what we want to do here is again get our build instance and we want to get transform get instance transform and we want to get this instance transform in the world space so make sure you check this and the instance index comes from the loop index right here and then we can connect our out instance transform to this add node like so and then on this loops complete once we finish with this we can let's see I think we can just simply drag in our build preview of actor and then from this we can get our add instances add instances and connect this to the complete for the transforms of course we need to get our local transforms variable and for the build mesh I'm gonna get my buildables I'm going to get a copy from the buildables from the build ID and I'm gonna split this and connect the mesh over here so now we are transferring the mesh information as well then once this is done what we can do is drag in our build instance we can clear instances then we can set our build location one to zeros and also set the has placed first instance back to false now let's go let's test this out if we press play select the buildable drag this out click and there we go we have planted a floor so I noticed a few minor mistakes that I've made is that now you can see that if I move if I click it disappears if I move this it appears but it's not exactly where I clicked and you can see if I go left and right it skips one uh, basically one log there could be a log in the middle and that is because I made a small mistake over here where I said the build floor preview in the step loops that we should begin with index 1 and that was a lie we actually need index 0 so I will change these to the 0 and the same thing goes for this newly created add instance here at the beginning where we are getting the instance count we need to do a minus 1 on this one otherwise um, if we don't do minus one we are creating one extra instance which is basically an empty instance that does not exist so let's save this and now if we go back to the game now you can see that it is not disappearing and it is always staying in the location where we clicked so we have fixed the small bug and everything is working nicely so now the next thing what I want to do is I want my floors to be stacking from one another rather than one on top of another once we click on it so how do we do that is by going to our third person character so now I will add a new function and I'm gonna call this check collision so that we would know which uh, log exactly we have hit and for this we will need a couple of inputs the first one is going to be the actor that we have hit so this needs to be an actor type the next one is going to be the component which is going to be a primitive component the next one is going to be the instance index which needs to be an integer 
So now what we can do is drag in our build preview of actor and we can check if our actor from the input is equal to the build preview of actor to make sure that we have hit the correct thing. Then we can do an if branch check from this. There we go. And if we have not hit the right one, then we are going to return node. So basically this will return that we have failed the test. And then the next thing what we should do is from our build preview actor, we will need to get component by class. Yes, by class. And we need a instance static mesh components. Mm, this returns only one. Let's see. So get components get components by get components by class. So there it is. So that one returned only returns only one, but we need all of them because we don't really know which one we have hit. And then from this one, we can do a loop for each uh, with a break. So loop for each with a break. This goes into the true one. And then we should check this array element should be equal to the component from the input. Then we can do a if branch check to know if this is the one. And here we will need a local variable, which I'm going to call local, local found boolean single variable. Then on true, we can set this to be true. And on false, we are setting this to be false. The next thing is that if this is true, then we can go to loop break, we can finish the loop. And once the loop is completed, we will do another if branch check to see if we have found something. If we have not found anything, then we are going to return node. If we have found something, then also we are going to add a return node. But this will have some values in it. So now let's set, set up the outputs. So the first output is going to be found something, which needs to be a Boolean. The next one is going to be the found instance, which is going to be a instance static mesh component. The third one needs to be the location, which is going to be a vector. And the fourth one is going to be the rotation, which is going to be a rotator like so. Let's move these out a bit. So basically this return node and this return node can stay the way they are. But for this one, we need some values. So this one will have true on found something because we did find something. And the found instance comes from the array element from the loop. The location and rotation will come from. So let's drag from our array element and we need to get instance Trans transform and we want to get the transform in the world space and the instance index comes from the input from over here instance index and then we can split this and connect the location and rotation so we have set up our collision detection now we can save this go to the Whoops, okay, let's go to the event graph. Let's find our mm, mouse left click. And here, after this uh, branch check, if we have hit something, if we have, then we want to drag in our check collision. And from this hit result, we need to connect our hit actor to the actor, hit component to the component, and hit item 
to the instance index. This will uh, return the index of the instance for us. Then we can do another branch check to see if we found something. And if we did find something, then let's move these down a bit. If we found something, then we can set our build location to be the location from over here. Then also what I want to do is promote this found instance to a variable and I'm going to call this found instance. Let's connect this one as well. And also I want to promote this rotation to be the build rotation. There we go. So if we fail this, if it's false, then we can proceed with this node that we had previously. And I also want to set my build rotation, but I want to set this to be 0, 0, 0. And in both cases, we are setting our has placed first instance to be true, like so. So now if we press play, go to the game, let's build the first piece. And now let's click on any one of these. Let's click over here. You can see that it is stacking from right over there. And it is basically stacking perfectly with everything that we have created previously. So this is stacking very nicely and we don't have any issues with that. So I want to make this video a little shorter than the previous ones because previous ones were quite a bit long. Uh, so the last thing what I will do is go to my UI build menu and uh, what I want to do is add more buttons to this screen right here. So I'll duplicate these a few times. So this is going to be the wall button. The next one is going to be the step button. Then I'm going to add a window button and a door button. And then in the graph, what I want to do is add events on these. So the wall on clicked, step on clicked, window on clicked and the door on clicked events. Let's join these up. over here there we go and then what we want to do here is simply set the build IDs so what I will do is set build ID like so there we go so this is going to be one two three and four all of them go into into the let's build and now if we would go back to the game you can see that if we select a different id it is changing our static mesh to the one that we have selected we don't have none for the last two buttons because i have not set anything for that in our buildables variable so i'm gonna do, add two more entries so this is going to be a window which is going to be a window this one and the door and there we go so now we have those set up as well there is a window and there is a door awesome so this is going to be it for this tutorial this was a bit faster and uh, in the following video we are going to add walls to our building. So thank you guys for watching, stay tuned, subscribe and see you guys in the next video.